Hey crafties, it's Laura here in my craft closet and I received my monthly paper pumpkin kit and I'll be doing an unboxing today and we'll do a few of the projects together too. So if you're a subscriber, you know how great these kits are and how quick and easy the projects are to put together. They save that staring at the blank page step so you get to just skip to the fun. If you aren't, you'll get to see today how much fun crafty stuff they put into each box and we'll put a few together. It's always nice to see someone else do it first. Uh, maybe we'll make a few bonus projects too uh, with the extra pieces. So this is the box that the kit came in this month. It has little skulls on it, so it's Halloween themed. That's my favorite holiday. It's called Bon Appetit. So every month they also send you with it uh, a set of stamps. So this one has little skeletons and uh, Halloween sentiments, toxic treats, bon appetit, trick or treat. Very cute. And a little ink spot. This is gorgeous grape. These are just miniature ink pads. They're really great for traveling or uh, even for definitely for beginner stampers. You know, when you just want to try all the colors and you don't have a big arsenal yet of inks. Let's see, it's wrapped in some black tissue paper. Okay. You know, we'll use that for something else. So it looks like we're going to be making trick-or-treat boxes. Oh, these are cute little skeletons and cobwebs and bones. Cool. It makes 20 treat boxes. Okay, I'm going to put the box aside. I know, did you get scared there when I was going to puncture every, all the papers with my scissors? They pack these up real nice. Let's see what's in there. And of course, they always come with instructions to make whatever the project is, but there's always extras, so you get to be creative and make something alternative, something bonus. And of course, you have the stamps and the ink that you, know, you can use again and again. Ooh, little black clothespins. Oh, these must be the uh, dimensionals that are, they're black colored. You know, so with your black paper, you don't see them when you pop something up. These must be the treat boxes. They're foil, like orange foil. Oh, that's cute be an edge piece. Let's see, we have some foil tags. Those are real pretty. More tags. I wonder what all these are for. We'll see with the instructions. Oh, a lot of tags. Wow. Okay, purple. This must be gorgeous grape and black. Oh, these are so cute. With the skeletons and the hands, little die cuts. You can't maybe see, but we will be punching these out. They make it so easy for you to make cute projects. Ooh, vellum die cuts. I love vellum and ooh, more spider webs. That's gonna be a cute one. Some adhesive dots. So this kit has everything you need to make the projects, which makes it kind of good for traveling. It makes it good for beginners or for avid crafters who just want to sit down and craft for a few minutes. All right, so here's the instructions that it gives you. We're gonna make a few today. And it shows you everything that's in it, the foil tags, the vellums, even coordinating colors. So if you do have the cardstock or the ink, you can make bonus projects with it, which we may at the end. Uh, there's basic black, gorgeous grape, pumpkin pine, whisper white. All right. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. Okay. So let's get started. So assemble the treat boxes. Add treats before closing. Well, I don't have treats yet because it is September. But I'll make my trip over to the store soon, but we'll assemble it. It's all folded and pre-scored pre for everything. You're going to watch me struggle with this too. Oh, just a flap in. Well, that's cute. Okay, this is easy. You can always make all the stuff for it and put the uh, treats in after we have all the decorations ready. So next it says, I don't know what's in camera. Stamp the sentiments on the label. Stamp skulls on the purple tag. All right. Um, so we have, here's our purple tags. Well, we have two sheets of these. And get my block out. We're gonna stamp the sentiments on the label. Now, a gorgeous group, I like to save these. I sometimes give them on at classes. But I have my own giant size gorgeous grapes. So I'm going to use you know, normal size. 
but you know the the ink spots are really great especially if you're new to this so it looks like they used a little one the little skull and crossbones just stick it to your block and what kind of sentiments do we want on our labels well we'll make a few with just the skull and crossbones so Just randomly stamping little skull and crossbones all over it. I'm just kissing my ink pad with my stamp. Oh, these stamps will be really useful for a lot of other scary projects. And you can kind of see I'm stamping off some of them just so it looks very random. They're not all perfect. It's okay. We'll do five. How's that sound? All right. Stamp the sentiment on the labels. What sentiments? Oh, like toxic treats, bon, bon appetit. Um, well, I'm kind of a fan of both. I can't decide. So we're just going to do some of each. Peeling it off. That's. I'm gonna put Bon Appetit on one side and Toxic Treats on the other side of my block. Because I don't feel like fishing out another block. There we go. Alright, so where are the tags? Must be these cute foil ones. I'm just gonna take a peek at the picture one more time. Yeah, it is on the foil. Super easy. Alright. We'll do a few Bon Appetit. These are really pretty. Toxic treats. Of course, I'm just going to put some candy in it. <laughs> All right. There's a towel. So I don't get my desk all messy like usual. All right. I'm going to close up the ink pad. Because you know what happens. <laughs> okay, so next step, step three. Adhere the vellum circles and bone web dies to the tags using adhesive dots. As these adhesive dots, we got our bones and we got our. Oh wow, they give you two pages of this. Wow. There's gonna be a lot of extras from this one. No. Actually, let's punch these out. I'm going to punch out a few black ones, even though we didn't stamp on them, but we're going to put some of the cute paper die cuts and those fun things on it. Let's use three and two. We're making five three boxes? I don't know. It's always extras, and I love it. And see, adhere the vellum circles, All right? Um, and they just punch out nice and easy. Sometimes I do this while listening to podcasts or watching TV. Helps me catch up on shows. All right. Oh, I love these. Oh, there's little skulls on the inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. make three spider web ones and let's look at the picture we'll make a few with the uh little skeleton guys now if you have kids you can even have them punch these guys out for you <laughs> i do know some people who get these kits for their kids it kind of keeps the mess to a minimum and then you know they get Quick, easy projects that they can make, be proud of. There we go. All right, I'm gonna punch out the little tags. Of course, the uh, skeletons get the Bon Appetit. Toxic treats. Now this is my first unboxing video, so 
<laughs> I hope it's okay. Uh, let's see. I just like really showing off everything that they do. Let's see. Let's adhere them with these things. Ah, should have been doing this all the whole time. Let's see. What I do is peel off the cover for the glue dots. Just gonna stick it right on there. And it's easy when you have nails. If not, they have little tools to, that'll help you with this. Oopsie. I gotta learn to leave my nails a little longer when I do these videos. <laughs> All right, peel off the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that cute? Jump off the top. Should probably. Uh, where did I put the? Um... <laughs> The dimensionals. Hmm. There they are. They hit them with the clothespins. There we go. Oh, they're in here somewhere. Oh, these are so. I like these. They're usually white. I go through them like crazy. I like to pop stuff up. I like to die cut stuff. Toxic treats. Okay, so that's gonna be our tag. Let's go ahead and make the rest of them. It's gonna peel off the top. I never know if I'm using enough adhesive. Stuff always sticks. <laughs> you know what? If you end up not using enough dots, you can just throw a little glue or some more dots onto there afterwards, right? So we're in a new neighborhood now and I have no idea how many kids are gonna come for trick-or-treating. So of course I'm gonna have to buy a lot of candy because there's no such thing as too much leftover candy. Oh no, I'll just have to eat it. How many trick-or-treaters do you guys get? Like, does it, you know, change every year? I've been moving so much lately that it's always a new neighborhood, but this time at least we're gonna be staying here. Loving it here. Did it? Oh, here's my little dude. Maybe it looks happy. It's the happiest skull you ever see for Halloween, right? Leave this dampen up to make the skull, have, find a way to make the skull look cute. Er, skeleton. Now, if you don't like the way you can see sometimes the glue dots through the vellum, you can just toss this guy over that. It'll cover right up. I'm not even putting it on centered because bleh, it looks kind of cute to the side. Pop that off. See how easy these go together? I always do it in an assembly line. This, this might be taking a little bit longer than usual. Sometimes I just have a few minutes in a day to sit down and, you know, make whatever my project is. And these are perfect because, you know, the first day, 
I could sit down just for a few minutes and assemble all the boxes. The next day, just do all my stamping. The next day, punch out some, some of the die cuts. With it being made so easy for you, you never forget what the next step is. It's written down. I really like that. And I always recommend it, especially to newer crafters, because they always say, well, I can't think of my own ideas. It's hard. And these make it super easy. And then once you start crafting, your creativity just kind of starts flowing and you'll find something that you're like, I really want to make a card like this with these stamps. So I really recommend these to people because they, they do come together so quickly. Plus, I kind of want the kids in this neighborhood to be like, yeah, that house has the cool candy and they come in cute treat boxes. Or at least the parents. I don't know. <laughs> I always like when candy comes in fun containers. It's half the fun. Uh, there we go. Two on him. All right. And toxic treat turn. Use this side. Toxic treats. All right, so what's next? Step five, oh, we're already almost done. Adhere to the die, adhere the die cut hands to the closed pins using adhesive dots. Well, you can do that. Here are the hands. Ooh, let's punch out a few for now. They're all right hands. <laughs> What about the lefties out there? And uh, here, the clothes pins. Oh, fun. Okay. So we're gonna take out some clothes pins. Now this is something I think I would definitely do for um, future cards too. Get little. I don't often use little clothes pins. They're so adorable though. We're gonna adhere little die cuts to the clothes pins. Yeah, I definitely do this. Actually, let's put it on the clothes pin first. Make sure it lines up. There we go. Take the backing off and stick the hand on it. Huh. All right. I guess we'll do that for all of them. If you're crafting along with me and you're making all 20 of them at once, you know, go ahead and pause the video until you're ready. Or, you know, if you are not and you're just seeing how awesome these things are in the paper pumpkin kits, maybe I'll try and fast forward this part a little bit. Me just putting on glue dots. Or you can hear me rambling about the kids in our neighborhood. <laughs> I do want to, what, I hope they like the candy we give. We don't want to be that house. Where are the little Play-Doh kids? I see these like cute little Play-Doh um, containers. They only hold like an ounce or whatever of, of Play-Doh. I think that'd be cute to give out too. Are you making sure I'm putting these on? Not upside down. <laughs> I get excited when I craft. What am I on, number four? Boop. And last but not least. But yeah, those Play-Doh kits would definitely fit these boxes. You know, especially around here, I, I've heard that there are some kids that have allergies, and I always like to put up my teal pumpkin to show that we're going to have non-allergen treats for so everyone can enjoy Halloween. And I think Play-Doh would be fun. 
All right, all right. Next up, last step. Flip the tags to the treat boxes. Fold this one in. Since we don't have treats, of course, we're going to next trip out to the store. I'll pick up something fun. Those Play-Dohs, a few of those Play-Dohs maybe. And I don't know, what's your favorite candy? are adorable. All right, let's, this guy's my favorite. Ooh, okay, that is so cute. All right, well, that was even quicker than I had anticipated, so why don't we make an extra, uh, a bonus project? So, um, I'll, I love to make alternatives with, I can put these, the rest together later. You. You can see this is so easy. I like to make alternative projects um, because they give you instructions and they make really cute things, but uh, we're gonna make an alternative project. They, they, have, they sometimes show some on the back too. I kinda like this guy. Can we make it with our, these guys? I have, um, actually, that's one of the colors I have pulled out. It's called Mango Melody. So we're just going to, not just make a card, it's cute. I'll show you how easy it is to um, do one of the alternatives and using the stamps that they give you and clothespins I'll save for the treat boxes because I probably should make all 20 of them. Let's see, all right. Gonna need my stamps. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, so let's get out our little skeleton gun. You know, sometimes when you're working with these, when you're making the, uh, you know, the, the, the kit as it is directed, you sometimes get those ideas like, oh, I gotta make this or that. Um, you know, we're just gonna use these guns. So I'm gonna cut them out. Um, but we like the waving. Oh, they're both waving. Um, hmm. I like this guy. Looks like he's out left field trying to catch a ball, a fly that's coming to him. There we go. I'm gonna cut this to be a cut the card front. <laughs> no matter how big your desk is, it's never big enough. So I'm gonna cut this down to let's see, you have four. Mm -hmm. Now again, this is Mango Melody. I think it looks cute with the gorgeous grape. This is too small to save, I think. I save a lot of scraps, but I gotta, I gotta stop somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna get a sheet of paper out. All right, now this is Versamark. It doesn't come in the kit, but it's something that I think is a definite uh, basic supply you need to have to make some really cute things. And it really expands everything that you have. Kind of makes a watermark, or I could use so I'm just gonna stamp the little guy on here. You can see it kind of makes a watermark. You see him back there? Or, you know what? Don't tell anyone that I sometimes just switch colors in the middle of a project. I got Mango Melody. So it is the same color as the paper. Just gonna stamp right over that. Ah, it's a little darker, nice. So we're just gonna stamp him around. Add a little interest in the background of our card. <laughs> He's got a little hand there. And maybe there's some feet up here. And this is why I put the piece of paper down so I can stamp off the side. 
All right, how's that look? Is that enough uh, edging? All right, so done with the Mango Melody. So this is gonna go, whoopsie. Oh, I hope I haven't been out of screen. It's my first time filming at my new desk. So we're just going to uh, stick this on down. It looks like they have some vellum circles. Now vellum is a really cool uh, type of paper. I, I've, I always have circles cut, but you can see it just kind of like uh, clear. You can kind of see through, but not completely. It's kind of fun for projects. So we're gonna use that. Let's see. Do you want to use the the other waving skeleton? This is how I craft. <laughs> Come on. Don't want to rip it while I'm on video. You are waving, guys. All right. Oh, we could. It looks like here they just stamped. We do have both the stamps in purple. We could do that if you want to cut them out. I kind of like the black and white. We'll make them dancing. And then let's see, uh, a sediment. So here's some Whisper White. What sediment do you like? Eat if you dare, it doesn't work for this. How about trick or treat? Mm -hmm. Again, I am out of blocks. <laughs> skull from before. Now I'll be coming up with more alternatives for the extras in time. Sometimes I need to sleep on it. But keep an eye out for those if you see this. Uh, gorgeous grape again. Could use the ink spot, but I already have this one open. I think I'm Punch it in the center. All right, so let's adhere this stuff down. I think I want to pop these guys up. So, where am I? Hmm. Could use the black ones, or let's. I do have mini ones. Now you can totally use these dimensionals with your alternatives. They give you so many, like these extras that I am saving from other projects. Now these I gotta hide behind them, so I'm just figuring out where they're gonna go. Actually, maybe I should glue these bad boys down first. Where are my glue dots? Three out of two. Oh, you know what? I'm out of screen there. I know I am at that point. But it's like showing how easy it is to put together these kits, have some cute treat boxes for the kids or adults. Yeah, I used to bring these into work. You know, whatever treats and it's fun no matter how old you are. Everyone likes candy. All right. And where'd my other guy go? Does this happen to just me? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Maybe snug off to the candy. Candy aisle. There we go. Oopsie. So now I can see where it's going to be covered, so I can just toss on more dimensionals. You only need a few to make the vellum stick on the paper. Hmm. 
Now you can see I'm clearly not making the alternative the same as they show it. I wanted to make it with the die cuts. I like my other side. Trick or treat. Let me make this full banner. Or we could punch it out. Oh, it's too small. Hmm. I can never decide. Okay, I'm going to make it into a little banner, I think. So to do that, I just kind of clip in on both sides. And then from the corners, cut to your edge. It's my little secret to make little banners. All right. That is most definitely lopsided. <laughs> make it a little shorter. No mistakes in crafting. You can just redo it, stamp on the back, paint over it, recut. Ooh, we're behind it. In the corner it is. All right. So that is our alternative with this, but I'll be back with more. There we go, a little trick or treat, man. How's that? With you get these, uh, I think there's 20 in the kit. They're food safe, so I'm really excited about these. Um, all right, so I really hope you enjoyed my <laughs> unboxing video of the paper pumpkin kit. Uh, I'm gonna reuse this box too, of course. Uh, usually I store cards in it. It's actually a perfect fit for for two uh, two rows of of cards. Nothing goes to waste here. We got a lot of extras. We're gonna make a lot of these treat boxes. And I know you can get uh, extra kits in case you have a lot of kids in your neighborhood or need a lot more for a party. Be cute as a party favor for like a Halloween. That'd be great. All right, well, thank you for joining me today in my closet and I'll see you next time.